In most main islands, there are no medical professionals. Some have a team of civilians prepared to respond to emergency medical situations, but that's it. So for many islanders, a trip to the doctor is an expensive endeavor that could take a full day of traveling. Fortunately for them, there's a group of health professionals who have made it their mission to bring health care from the mainlands to the islands. Health care is hard to get when you're on an island. Indeed, if you live on one of the islands clustered off the coast of Downeast Maine, a trip to the doctor is not an easy task. It's a way of life that's somewhat challenged, I think, these days. Yet, it's a way of life Sharon Daly thinks is worth protecting. That's why she's been working as a nurse on the Sunbeam boat for the last 18 years. I do flu clinics. I do all kinds of, you know, different things and I make home visits. The 73-foot Sunbeam operates through the Maine Seacoast Mission. The Sunbeam's bi-weekly visits to the islands are something islanders like Colleen Bunker have grown accustomed to. I think we kind of take it for granted a little bit because they, the, the Maine Seacoast Mission has been supporting these islands for so many years. The Maine Seacoast Mission also organizes health fairs, such as this one on Great Cranberry Island, to show islanders what the health care options are on the mainland and bring medical professionals to them. If somebody wanted their hearing tested, um, it could take two days to come to the mainland, make arrangements for a car, wait for the ferry to go back. Audiologist Amy Booth has been working with the Maine Seacoast Mission visiting the islands for 15 years. Her role is to help and educate islanders, particularly lobstermen, about their hearing health. If you're lobstering, lobstering is a very noisy industry. In addition to having Amy check their ears, people can test their cholesterol and blood pressure at an event like this. A lot of folks will neglect their own health care if it's, you know, uh, too difficult. For health care beyond what the Maine Seacoast Mission can provide, Colleen says islanders have to be proactive. Everybody just plans ahead and, you know, that's just how it is. And I think in addition to bringing medical treatment, the Sunbeam boat serves as a local gathering hub and even as a site for weddings and funerals. Right now, the Sunbeam is undergoing months of renovations. In the meantime, the Sunbeam's crew is traveling on a limited schedule on a smaller boat, fittingly called the Moonbeam. The Sunbeam will be back in the water, hopefully by Christmas time. Clay and Sharon, back to you. All right. Something you don't really think about unless uh, you maybe travel to one of the islands. Yeah, yeah, really interesting. All Thank right. you, Hannah. Hannah, thanks.